Going, brother. Oh, well, man. How about you? Not too bad. Great to meet you. Finally. Yeah, meet you. Talking, trying yeah. to figure it out. How's the drive? Perfect. There she is, the yeah, star herself, right. Fiona. Hi. You can do some camping? Hmm. I wanted to bring you something from home. Man, I appreciate it. You don't have to give me anything. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah. I greatly appreciate it. This is from Georgia. Yep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very I'm gonna run this in really quick. They're gonna be stoked. Well, I suppose you ready to head? Yeah, man. Whenever you are. Let's get it.
Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, I got a guest. We are out here truck camping tonight. Fellow YouTube buddy, Old Southern Pine, made his way over into the Wisconsin turf. And uh, we just found a spot out here in the county woods. We're gonna set up shop right here. I uh, did a lot of driving. He put on about, what, four hours a day? Driving. four hours. So, super grateful for him to come over here and hang out with me. We got two nights out here in the woods and uh, it's gonna be a good time. After many miles on these dusty roads, we're finally gonna set up shop. I got my truck pretty well leveled. It's got his. We're gonna be making steak tonight, some steak and onions. And I'm starving, I'm sure you're hungry. I'm, I'm definitely getting there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a nice night. We got plenty of wood. We got some wood here just at camp. And we got a built in, somebody already made a little fire ring. So that'll be super nifty. Nice warm fire and some good steak. And then, uh, like I said, we're out here for two nights. I took off one day, I took off another day for work and we made it happen and here we are. So sooner or later, I'm gonna make it over to his turf, but right now we're gonna enjoy the Wisconsin weather and it's almost 60 degrees today. So overall, it's warming up and shaping up to be a good trip. Thanks for having me out here, Wes. I'm looking forward to spending some time catching up with you, bud. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thanks for coming over here. Definitely. I was also gonna mention to you guys, if you haven't checked out Old Southern Pine OSP on YouTube, I highly recommend it. He's got some awesome content. Uh, big hot tent camper guy, as well as uh, dispersed camping, truck camping, he does it all. So great channel and I'm glad we were able to link up and get him out here. I will leave his channel in the description below. So if you guys would, please head over, check his channel out, give him a like and comment and tell him I sent you. You guys can see, sun is slowly starting to make its way down. We got Fiona over here sniffing it out. The back of this knife has got a, I don't know, like a grater on the back of it. And so you can just kind of take it. What you want to do is you're just going to rough it up. The birch bark is all built in layers. And so you just sit there and you kind of scrape against it. The birch bark's great because it's filled with all kinds of, of oils that are highly flammable. That's pretty slick. So, ferro rod, the concept is... Oh, wow. Yeah, that works good. Just get hot sparks that are coming off of there. Now, these sparks are coming off at about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Smokes. And you want to do what's called the pin and pull. So you pin, put it against there, pull. I feel like such an amateur right now. No, dude, you're doing fine. Uh, something's not right. That should have taken that one. You, I mean, that was, that was a lot of sparks that you got in there. That should have happened. Say so you try hitting it. Oh, goodness. That was bad. Unbelievable. <laughs> That's awesome though. He got it down. Oh, it's trying. Nope. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yeah. Tinder and just start just gently laying it over top. Truthful as you originally thought. Shooting animals going 300 some yards, it's nice to know exactly where you're going to be heading. Right. 
absolutely gorgeous night here. Sun's just going down, got us a good fire going. And we are gonna cook us up some good old steaks on the cast iron. Doubled it. <laughs> gotta have mushrooms and onions on a steak. He's got a nice little lantern set up right here. Brand new stove. Nifty little thing. And push. Yep. Would you look at that? I do have a. You want a headlamp? I've got one right here. Mushrooms and onions. And I'll throw it back in. That's true. Good is good. That's true. Mm-mm-mm. Be eating good before too long. You're right. It's gonna be amazing. Alrighty. The other day I stopped at a local butcher shop. Pick this up, some top sirloins, some thick cuts. Oh, wow. <laughs> then we're going to be good. I don't want to get your truck all bloody either. Would not be the first time that truck has had blood in it. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Yeah, let's go and do it. They're gonna be good. We're gonna finish up cooking up these steaks. Probably sit by the fire for a bit. And then uh, he's already got his truck set up. I got mine obviously set up. And hop in and have a nice relaxing night in the trucks. About the perfect temp too. Not, not too hot, not too cold. Couldn't ask for better weather. Absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, now that is how it's done. Y'all have seen me eat a lot of botched food in my days. This is certainly not going to be one of them. The genuine smell that is coming off of this is unbelievable. Not enough to make a fat kid cry. Second one going in. Mm -mm -mm. Got a... Oh yeah. Waff that. <laughs> Smells absolutely to die for. There we go. Oh. Yum yum, get you some. That is gonna be good. Want all that in there? Sure. Whichever way the wind or the smoke isn't blowing, I guess. Yeah, exactly. By far, probably one of the best meals.
Well, I haven't tasted it yet, but that I've cooked on this channel. <laughs> Thank you so much for cooking supper. Absolutely. Thank you for making your way over here. Oh, it's my pleasure. I owed you big time. I was old, man. Next trip is uh, Minnesota to Heck repay yeah. it. It's been a great trip so far. Yeah, it really has. Awesome hanging out with you, man. You too, man. First bite, thoughts? Oh, it's fantastic. <laughs> Super juicy, I'm trying to spill it in my lap. I know, right? Nice warm fire to go with dinner. Mm-hmm. And the steak just melts in your mouth. <laughs> it's so good. <clears throat> I'm literally trying so hard. It's like a teeter-totter here. It really is. It's a, it's a delicate game. <laughs> Last bite, guys. Oh, here we go. Mm -mm -mm. Polished her off. All right, everybody. Just hopped in the truck. Old Southern Pine just got his truck all set up. He just hopped in there with Fiona. He's going to bed. I just uh, turned my tablet on. I'm going to kick back, watch a movie. Relax for a bit, and I guarantee I ain't gonna make it through the movie because I am beat. That steak will put me in a coma, but overall, today was a great day, and we still got a full another day. So, stay tuned, and uh, I will see y'all in the morning. Good night. Good morning everybody i just woke up it's a little after eight i uh started a movie last night made it for about five minutes and passed out very good night of sleep i don't know why but i slept like a baby um anyways old southern pine is still sleeping over here in his truck i'm gonna get some shoes on get out check it out today i could hear the wind blowing pretty good out there i think it's supposed to rain which is unfortunate but it's part of it oh well but yeah, I'm going to get out and uh, shortly probably start making some coffee. Get this morning started on a good note. <clears throat> also, the ticks are out big time. Fiona had a pile of them on her yesterday and last night, and I ended up finding two of them on me going to bed last night. Yeah, so they're out and about nasty things. So if you guys are out in the woods, just make sure you keep checking yourself. Good morning. How'd you sleep? Fantastic. How about you? Exactly the same. I slept like a baby. Yeah. Come here, baby girl. How'd Fiona sleep? Like she still wants to be asleep. <laughs> this little one was not ready to get up. Morning. You gonna chase some more squirrels and deer today? Oh yeah. <laughs> After taking over the world. We got Chef OSP cooking this morning. Some bacon and eggs. Mm-mm-mm. It'll be good. You just about can't ruin bacon. Very true. Leave a comment down below. Let us know how much squeal you like in your bacon. Fire hot real quick. 
Mm -mm, that bacon smells good. Nearly ready. Oh. Come here, you want help? You want help? Oh, good girl. I got a good girl. Blueberry crumble. Coffee. Blackout Coffee Company. Family owned coffee roasting company out of Florida. That's crazy. It smells absolutely delicious. See, that looks good to you if you want it. Absolutely. I can grab, uh, just want to grab one of them plates if you want a paper plate. Otherwise, I can grab, definitely grab one of them. I just don't know if you wanted to soak it up or some of the paper to soak up some of that grease. Yeah, let's. First for everything. Yeah, there we go. eggs, some bacon, we got our nice warm cup of joe, nice morning out here, cheers, cheers brother, it's getting windy out here, Wind's picking up, it's starting to rain out here. I'm gonna throw some stuff in the truck, probably run to town quick. Uh, I gotta drop a video, and then we're coming back out and gonna have another night out here. Hopefully the rain doesn't last all day, otherwise, if it does, Old Southern Pine brought a little canopy so we can set that up and stay out of the rain, which is nice. think huh what you think yeah you can go back there make yourself at home what you think huh Yona you old YouTube star herself got a new buddy Give them. There you go. <laughs> Just watch that drag. I don't know how tight that drag is. Ooh, that other line's real close. I'm gonna go underneath you quick. Okay. Heck yeah, man, fish on. Oh, nice, dude. Is that a big That's red horse? Awesome. <laughs> 
looks like a nice red horse. Oh, that's a good one. Dude, that's a really nice red horse. Holy smoke. Awesome. I'm gonna help you land it here. Come on. Right on, man. Nice, brother. Awesome. Check that out. First fish in Wisconsin, correct? First fish in Wisconsin, first red horse ever. That is awesome, dude. Man, that's a beauty. Congratulations. Ah, thanks, brother. Appreciate it. That's awesome. Well done, man. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Gonna be some good smoked, uh, smoked sucker dip right there. Heck yeah. All right, everyone. We're out here getting soaked by the rain. Winds have been whipping pretty good, but the fish are biting. OSP here, caught his very first Wisconsin fish. Really nice red horse, so super stoked for that. We're gonna hang out for a little bit longer, see if we get some more bites, and then uh, after a bit, head back to camp. And got Fiona all nice and tucked up in there, <laughs> staying warm and staying dry. <laughs> I thought it got off. Give me Gens or no? Nice. Fun fight, man. Another nice little red horse. That puts three on the board. Feel pretty good out here in this crappy weather right now. Keep fishing and see if we can get a couple more. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Nicely done, brother. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hoofed <clears throat> up. It's getting awfully cold out here on the hands. Yeah, man. All right, guys, just got back in the truck. As you can tell, we are soaked from head to toe. That wind got nasty, rain got pretty bad. Fiona was freezing, and uh, hands started to get pretty cold. So, we're back in the truck, gonna cruise around for a bit and uh, head back to camp before too long. Oh, yeah, you can see it on the camera too that you're pretty soaked. Yeah, with this alpaca, I've kind of got that wet sheep smell going too. We just swap spots, trying to stay out of the rain as much as possible, sitting in the truck watching the rods, and sure enough, back it. This is what we call fishing in style here. That's right, upper middle class. It's cranking and we're watching rods. Well, just got back to camp. The truck heat was too nice for uh, kind of procrastinating, getting out of it now, <laughs> getting back out here in the elements, but rain is slowly, seems like it's coming to an end and we're both hungry. We're gonna make some food here and hopefully be able to have a fire before too long. All righty y'all, we uh, found another pavilion. The rain has been off and on, off and on. The winds are pretty darn bad, and we are still pretty soaked. My back is absolutely drenched. His back's drenched. And uh, 
We're just chilled to the bone right now. So we're underneath this pavilion at this local park that we're at, not too far from camp. And uh, we're gonna get uh, cooking here for this afternoon's meal. I'm gonna be making wild turkey kebabs. They're very good and I haven't had them in quite some time. And I'm hoping OSP here enjoys them just as much as I do. So looking forward to it, man, it's gonna be good. Throw the kebabs on and hop back in the truck and crank the heat again because <laughs> it's it's pretty brutal right now. Yeah, it's it's that cold that cold wind is just piercing on on wet wet clothes. plate of kebabs going on the grill. Thank you to this little pavilion. Stayed out of the rain, and uh, we're gonna be eating good here in a minute. Bring these in the truck and uh, have us a nice little dinner. Here we are. Oh man, that's magic right there. Little afternoon uh, meal in the truck. Cheers. <laughs> man, this is gonna be good. Thank you so much, man. Absolutely. Thanks for helping. I did very, very little. I definitely help. Fiona, stop. Lay down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that turkey's phenomenal. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Nicely done, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it. That's really good. Courtesy of the old Tom from last year. <laughs> Where, where's my phone? <laughs> Idiot. Mm -mm. All right, everybody. We just made it back to camp. Uh, the winds died down, I'd say, a little bit. It's still pretty windy. Um, just got to eat them kebabs. Very good. And we're going to get a fire going. I'm going to set the truck up here quick. And then, uh, yeah, we're going to get that thing nice and hot. Warm up a little bit. Trips down memory lane. Nice. Well, uh, on this trip, we've both been sleeping out in our trucks. Got old Southern Pines rig right here. And my setup, which you guys have seen many times. But uh, I'm going to give you, or have old Southern Pine give you a little tour of the inside of his. Here we are, the old Southern Pines rig. Hey, y'all. So, yeah, this is my setup back here. I've got... Um, Underneath, hi sweetie. Underneath you and I've got the uh, Pittman Outdoor inflatable backseat air mattress. And uh, this kind of just takes up the entire thing, kind of levels it all out. It goes over the footwell and uh, you can kind of see down there that you can actually has, it has a separate inflation tube for the footwell itself. Really kind of gives you a lot more space just to kind of be able to spread out. And when you're a big guy like me, you need that kind of thing. So yeah, you know, we've got our battery, our O series battery pack back here. Uh, that allows us to be able to charge up our phone, our lights, our cameras, everything at night. And we've got, uh, yeah, we've got plenty of space back in here for both Fiona and I. And, uh, yeah, we get ourselves an extra wide, uh, extra wide sleeping bag for both of us to be able to fit into it. And got the reflectix up so we can kind of block out the light and lock in a little bit of warmth here. So, yeah, this is, this is home a lot of times when we're on the road. 
Awesome setup, brother. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Learned, learned it all from you, so. I <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> Very nice. Good old cigar. Haven't had one in a minute. As you can see, we are getting poured on right now. Can't even see old Southern Pines standing right here, about five feet away from me. You can hardly even see them. But uh, we're gonna hop in the trucks, get a good night's sleep and a peaceful night at that with all this rain coming down. So we will see you guys bright and early. All right, everybody, I'm now in the truck. And as you can hear, it's gonna be a peaceful night. That rain's quite loud on the roof, so. It'll be nice to help me fall asleep. I gotta be up early in the morning, so get to it and I'll see you guys bright and early. I'm letting this condensation disappear a little bit. Uh, just said bye to old Southern Pine. He's gonna hop back in his truck, get a few more hours of sleep. It's not even six o'clock yet and uh, it's time to hit the road. We'll see you, brother. See you, brother. All right, everyone. I just pulled in the driveway, and man, I don't even know where to begin. Uh, this trip goes down as one of my top trips ever, and... The history of me truck camping um old southern pine absolutely phenomenal dude he is a great dude and uh i greatly enjoyed sharing camp with him we made some great food caught some fish and uh had a nice relaxing two nights in the truck in the county woods overall i mean this this is going to be a hard trip to beat i had a ton of fun i greatly appreciate him coming over here from his home turf in minnesota he drove like three and a half hours four hours maybe to uh, come camp with me. So for that, I am super grateful. I told him I'd repay the favor and I plan to make a trip here sooner and later to Minnesota to do some camping on his turf. We just gotta find a couple days at work and uh, he's gonna show me the ropes over there. So I'm super excited for that. Him and his wonderful bride actually got me a bottle of hot sauce and a bottle of hot jam. So one of these videos, we are definitely gonna put that to use. And uh, yeah, I just can't, I can't thank him enough. I greatly appreciate him going with, doing a collab and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy this video because I definitely did. Fiona was a hoot as well. A uh, cute little pupper and yeah, she was just living her best life. So if you guys could head over to Old Southern Pines YouTube channel. I'll leave all of his stuff in the description below so you guys can check it out. And like I said, just drop him a comment if you would, please let him know I sent you. I want to thank you guys so much for coming along and watching. I do greatly appreciate the support. And if you could just leave a comment below and let me know your favorite part of this episode. I'd greatly appreciate it. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next adventure.